Hello everyone, this is Joanna and this is Friday night. I'm going to share with you my Sephora order of two little things and my Goose Creek order. My Goose Creek order is largely um, in part due to its Mindy here on YouTube. She also has a self-care channel on Instagram that I'll have to look up to get the name correct. But I watch her in both places. I have seen her do... Um, these lotion videos and the body care from Goose Creek before, but this time I actually placed an order because of some of the scents that she had. I wanted to get some of those and try them out too. And then the candle that I ordered in this order is in part largely because of Miss Tiffany Vanessa. Now this particular candle, I'm not sure if she's ever talked about it. She may have. It's a basic one. I just needed um, something with a higher total so that I could place my order the way that I wanted to. And I did it with that candle now once i started looking at the site more after i placed my order i saw other candles in the same price range that i probably would have wanted more but i just wanted to try a candle um so this right here is my sephora order but i'm going to share with you one thing really quickly see how this is i don't like how goose creek did this anyone who would see my box if i wasn't home would know that there's lotions in here and whatever a 14 point Five tumble is which of course is the candle but it's just the fact that if somebody wanted to steal this they would be interested in lotion they don't need to know what kind of lotion it is so we'll get into this box in a moment so first up this thing that has nothing to do with anything they were giving out seeds at work and they were in different packages but they all seem to say wildflowers so y'all know how i'm always making jokes about the pretty candle jars and how we could replant purpose those by like maybe planting violets or a small plant i'm gonna plant these little wildflowers and just see what happens um in the next empty candle jar that i think is pretty um let me see and I also want to say I have been using this today and I really do like it. I showed this in my Sephora haul. Now I learned this from Andrea Renee. She had whatever the regular one was and said it smelled real good. I don't really particularly think this smells like anything. Now it does smell good. Everybody at work loved it, but I think it's because, you know how I said sometimes we can be spoiled where we think something smells, you know, meh. Other people are like, oh my God, this smells so good. I've been that way with certain things when I was younger, you know, and people had things that adults would give to me that they didn't think smelled all that great. And I just thought they smelled fantastic, but it does smell good. The more that I used it today, I will say that I liked it. And I got the vanilla blossom one, I think. The name should be on here somewhere. I don't exactly know where, but I do know that this is the vanilla scent. So the next thing I got because of Shandana Mateen, I watch her. Is it Shandana Mateen or Matadine? I'll have her name straight. Um, but she talked about this. She said that she had a little one of these that it was recommended to her by somebody else and she really liked it. It is a liquid and I opened it up at work. It has this right here. And I'm currently working on a Sephora one. So when I get done with that, I'll try this. I think she said she puts this on a cotton pad because it is a liquid, but it's called exfoliate. And she said she liked it so much she got the large one. So I might do that too, but right now I plan if I really like it, I'll probably get a couple of more small ones now i got this i have been eyeballing this for a while and then i've seen several people with this young miss ashley had this um shaughnessy had this and then i started looking at reviews and pictures on it and i saw one girl that had a pink one because when i first saw these i thought they were in our store and i had like four of them in my cart i think i had this one the pink one the darkest one and i think whatever is one up from this but not the red one i didn't want the red they were 37 a piece and i took them out now this feels like glass i'm not entirely sure but i think this is glass this right here this um cap if i can zoom in on that i don't know how clear my phone will get but it feels like leather. Now, I don't know that it is. That's just how it feels. Now, this is definitely Lux Packaging. My YSL um, lipsticks and lip balms are Lux Packaging. My Chanel lipsticks. And I used to get things like this years ago. Like the lipstick that I used to get from Lancome that I loved so much was like $32 in 1992. 
And I would always buy like a couple during tax time and they would last me. That was the only lipstick I wore. Now I have what appears to be thousands upon thousands of lippies. Not exactly that many, but close enough. But I do love Lux lip products. And y'all see this. You remember what I told you about when I was a kid? Tell me that's not Givenchy. That's what we called it. We used to talk about Pierre Cardin sweatsuits. And this was like in 79 when we were kids trying to be posh. Um, what else was out then? Sergio was one of the things. The chic jeans back then, they were straight leg with zippers. But we were like, yeah, I got a Givenchy t-shirt. All the while, it's been called Givenchy. So I have trouble calling it that today because I got so used to calling it Givenchy. Now, I always knew, oddly enough, that Cartier was not Cartier the way that it looks. So certain names we knew and other ones, we was just out there pronouncing stuff all wrong. But I do love this gloss. I love how it feels. It does feel really nice. It is, like Shaughnessy said, like a cross between a lip oil and a gloss. Now, these are similar to these. Not exactly, but y'all, I was making jokes on Instagram because this was out years before. This is a Victoria's Secret gloss. It was called Big Caram Apple. And you get a different color depending on how it comes out. Sometimes you get more of the dark color. You get a blend of the two. Or you get the frosty color. So I do like this for that. Now... I would get another one of these for $37, but I no longer want four of them. I'll get one more. But I do love this because I like Lux lip products. And I love this packaging. It's very pretty. And it came in a box like this. So let me see. Because I was trying to decide if I wanted the Pinky Nude or the PH one. So I might go ahead and get the PH one. I'm trying to see if I can share with you what color this is because I ain't got on nobody's reading glasses. So I honestly don't know. But I'll look at it and see and let you know. So, aha! Uh -huh. The color I have is 110 Milky Nude. And like I said, I might go ahead and get the pinky or the PH one. And I do love the way that this cap is here. Don't know if I can... Get it on that clear enough. I love that because this is what their purse prints used to look like when we were in Chicago then. Fendi, um, Givenchy, I still want to say Givenchy, Pierre Cardin, they all had their prints on a purse. So that's all that I got from Sephora. I'm going to share with you what's in this Goose Creek box. So here's how this is packaged. Okay, nice. All right, we're going to pause and get this out of here. So here I got six lotions and one candle. And the candle that I got, like I said, was the first one that I saw. And it is Angel Food Cake, 14.5 ounce. I think this was like $13.99 because I had to make my total about $40-something dollars and I hit over that. Um, it says Cake Vanilla and Whipped Cream and it does smell nice. It's not loose or anything in there. Hopefully you can see that. Yeah, it's not loose or anything in there. Looks like that at the bottom. Doesn't say too much about it. But if this burns nice, I will probably try a few other candles from them. Because I have so many Bath & Body Works. And like I said, y'all know those are about the only candle I have. I do like other candles, but I just have so many of those. So these lotions, again, was in part because of its Mindy. And a lot of these she had. Now, y'all know I had to try the Vanilla Bean. I think she or somebody else, because once I saw her video and I placed an order, I started looking at other videos after that. Somebody said this had a Play-Doh-y smell, and y'all know that's right up my alley. I did mention that when Bath & Body Works had their vanilla bean, the body cream, and the embossed um, tube of cream, the, the cream tube, it had embossing on it kind of like this, and it had little speckles in it, and it did have that play doh type scent, which... I don't know what Play-Doh smells like today, but the Play-Doh from when I was a kid actually smelled good. But here we have Vanilla Bean, and it is 8.4 ounces, and I've never used these before. So guys, I bought something. I don't even need all this lotion, but I had to try these. This one here is the Fragrance Notes, Vanilla Bean, Buttercream Icing, and Marshmallows. So I had to go ahead... And give these a try some of these are some like she had and some of them are different ones now she did talk about warm donut sugar and this right here it has a little phrases there 
And then the notes are cinnamon sugar, fried dough, vanilla bean, and sugar. And then I had to try this one out. I found out Bath and not Bath and Body Works, but Victoria's Secret had a fragrance a long time ago that smelled like grape and mint. And you wouldn't have thought those two scents go together, but they're not bad if it's a soft mint. But they didn't have mint in the scent notes then, but it, that's what it smelled like. So this one here says Concord Grape, Pomegranate Punch, Fizzy Soda, and Sugar. Because I've never, I don't think I have a grape scented lotion but it does have pomegranate in it here so definitely want to try this one out and then here we have marshmallow sugar i saw this one i wanted to try this because i always hear miss shaughnessy talking about marshmallow so i tried to send her a photo of these and see how this says fluffy marshmallows are melted and blended with sugar to create creamy marshmallow batter i don't know which one of these i'm going to try first but i will try one as you can see they're sealed up nicely so this one is fluffy marshmallow batter, warm vanilla bean, and cream. Now, when I got the Ancient Cosmetics marshmallow, I like the oil and I like the wash, but I was kind of disappointed in its scent. I don't think it smells anything like marshmallow. And look at this one with the cap all wonky. Uh, I hope that'll still be okay. This one is marshmallow waffle cone. And I do love all the fluff on the back. But this one is fluffy marshmallow, warm vanilla bean dipped in waffle cone. Or does it just say dipped waffle cone? And then the last one that I got here is carnival cake. I had to go ahead and try this one as well. So I don't know. Even if I end up not liking these, I will use them. So, but these notes just got me. This one's fried dough, vanilla powdered sugar, and soft spice. Now that one and i think is it the powdered donuts let's see there ain't really that much difference between these two is there let's see did i buy a dupe okay cinnamon sugar and then vanilla bean okay it differs a little bit but it don't matter that's all that I got, guys. These were the and I got these lotions for $3.99, and they had other nice ones on there. So I would say if I like these, I'll get some more. But I have too much lotion, and I know that I have too much lotion. But I will come back and tell y'all about any one of these if you want to hear it. I will break into one, and I'll probably break into this marshmallow or vanilla bean first, knowing me. Yeah, knowing me, it'll probably be this vanilla bean first. And then this marshmallow sugar second. But this will be the first one I break into because I have a lot of stuff. But that was it, guys. I'm rambling now. I just wanted to share that with you. So look at Miss Mindy's videos. Check out her Instagram. And also listen to Miss Tiffany Vanessa on Goose Creek because she knows all about them. So that's it, guys. Until the next time, everyone have a great night. I got two more work nights ahead of me.